Today, we are going to be going over our weekly edition of Corvette news that you need to know. The second and last news story is a very interesting one on the release on a new Corvette. If you like my Corvette, Camaro, and American car content please like this video, as it helps a small creator like me against the YouTube algorithm, I appreciate it. Sad News 1 Our first news piece today comes from the country of Japan, and it is not a happy news piece unfortunately. Thanks to a YouTuber called Samit, we were introduced to a car graveyard in some part of Japan. The place looks like a car scrapyard and other metal scrapyard, but some of the abandoned cars there really made my head hurt. Not only are there iconic vehicles like old Datsun Z, Toyota Supras, but also C3 Corvettes. During the video you can see there is a grey C3 Corvette that has been completely left to rot basically, and it is really unfortunate to see what happens to iconic cars like this. Honestly, if anyone feels like leaving or abandoning a C3, I would gladly take it. In my opinion the C3 Corvette is the best generation due to its stunning looks but now let's get on to the biggest news regarding a upcoming Corvette. Major News 2 According to many news outlets, there have been interesting updates regarding the upcoming 2025 Corvette ZR1. There are reports saying that, just like the 2025 Equinox and 2025 Equinox EV, the dealers were able to see the brand new 2025 Corvette ZR1 in a secret meeting. The interesting thing is, the 2025 Equinox has already been shown and introduced to the public with production expected to start early 2024, which does impact the 2025 Corvette ZR1, and I am estimating and guessing we should expect an unveiling of the Corvette ZR1 in some time from April to the summer, and hopefully production is started sometime later or before the holidays in 2024. This information is very interesting because there has not been many information regarding the Corvette ZR1 at all, and this can now allow us to estimate when we should be getting key information. If you have made it all the way till here, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps me a lot, thank you. Now let's get into what news outlets are expecting the ZR1 to be like. According to reports, we know that the Corvette ZR1 will be getting the same 5.5-liter V8 engine from the Corvette Z06, however it will add a pair of turbochargers on top. Since we know the Z06 has 670 horsepower, I would expect the ZR1 to have around 800 to 850 horsepower. We also know the Z06 has about 460 pound-feet of torque, and with the addition of the turbocharger we hope to see that hit at least 650 pound-feet as well. In the exterior, there have been some pictures seen on the new ZR1, and personally I do not see a big difference when compared to the Z06, except a hood scoop up front probably to cool the internal components of the car, along with maybe an even wider body than the Z06. American Car Facts and Information if you like my content, I would appreciate it if you watched one of these two interesting videos popping up on cars ranging from the Corvette, Mustang, Camaro to consumer-friendly cars like the Buick and Vista and the Chevy Trax. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.